We had to come in through emergency because my daughter's heart wasn't beating properly. Oh, we got in right away. I was really amazed at how fast we did get in. Everybody values their time, particularly when they're sick or they're hurt and they're in pain or they're upset or they're in distress. Um, nobody wants to wait around. Into the hospital today. I hurt my leg last Thursday on the way to uh, an unemployment service. They'll call you here shortly. They'll get you registered next, and they'll call you back into a room. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Uh, we started a process back in 2008 of having a very rigorous look at our operation. Uh, we had uh, some people who came in to help us, some uh, industrial engineering type of people who mapped out the flow of patients and who went where, when, where the bottlenecks were. And uh, we took that information and, and re-engineered uh, how we process patients. Um, the idea is that uh, we want to get patients seen as quickly as possible. Talk to the nurse, that took less than 10 minutes. We've divided our emergency department into a number of sections. So um, the most critically ill patients come to the resuscitation rooms. Um, the next level of patients uh, goes to the main side of the emergency department. And then we have uh, an auxiliary side of the emergency department that takes care of sort of middle level of patients, uh, people with abdominal pain, people with respiratory symptoms. Well, we've got the rapid medical evaluation rooms, which takes care of the cough, cold, sprained ankles, the things that uh, um, can be processed fairly uh, quickly. We explained it to you, right? So, when you have chicken pox, that virus becomes dormant in the basal ganglia of your back, and you never get chicken pox again. But it can erupt as a rash we call shingles. All right. So, this is the cream, uh -huh. the lotion you put on the body shampoo tonight, and then the Tylenol with codeine for the itching. So you can sleep at night. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions? Um no. Okay. You sign there. While well, you're signing, saying so understand your instructions. Okay. Our faculty are all uh, professors, assistant professors, or associate professors, or instructors at Case Western, and as part of the academic community. We participate in uh, a lot of projects throughout the country and we're able to bring the best practices and the state of the art in emergency medical care to our patients here at Metro. All right, so let's, let's do the TSH. Do you want to get a T4 as well? T4. Yep. Well, we have our, our system set up so that much of the time uh, people don't stop at the front desk. Uh, we have a, a system to recognize how busy the department is in the back so that the uh, medic up front knows that we have rooms available, we have nurses available, we have doctors available. So when we're on clear status, which is uh, how we turn that, uh, patients just get sent right back. And many times they are seen by a physician before they're seen by a registration oh, clerk before and they're seen by a nurse. And they come in and we, we go see them. Uh, the well, we categorize patients into, uh, into levels one through five, one being the uh, most severe and five being the least severe. This is, this is a system where um, you make an assessment of what the patient's resource needs are gonna be. Teamwork has been proven to save lives. Good, high quality teamwork improves patient safety, improves quality care. 
Being a level one trauma center, uh, we have to have a high level of response to react quickly to, uh, to fluid situations. Uh, we receive patients from all over the region, and even before a patient arrives, we have information about that patient. That uh, the teamwork starts there. Let's look at it with a radiologist. And This is Anne, she's my scribe. Let's give ourselves a little bit of privacy. We have to be prepared to give fantastic customer service under the most challenging situations. We have kind of the patients who are at their highest level of anxiety and fear and intensity of situation. I mean, people are coming to the emergency department and they're worried and they're nervous. Are we gonna be able to figure out why I'm having the cramping? Not necessarily. The cramping can be not uncommon as the body sort of adjusts to the different hormone levels. This is going to help us rule out some bad causes of cramping, okay. and that's the most important thing. That's sort of clouding whatever other information is getting in or out. Oh, so here's and we really need to address that and acknowledge that. And I'll make you the Customer service is all about how we treat the patient, how we treat the family member, Does that make um, sense? and it's really a whole level of the experience. No one wants to be in a hospital, that's right. No one wants to be in a they were very well on top of it, explaining everything. Um, just like a best friend helping you out with it. I was at work. Hey, I'm going to get an appointment. So the nurse determined that what you're coming in for today is not a medical emergency. You have two choices. I think we don't have an overcrowded waiting room because we have done a, a good job of providing patients with alternative ways to access medical care. Okay, now, I scheduled your appointment for today. It's we have a program which we call our medical screening evaluation, and that is we identify patients who don't really have a need to be in the emergency department. They're there for a medication refill or, or something really very, very minor, and patients uh, seem to uh, appreciate that. You're welcome. Have a nice day, Ms. Carmarco. Love. I got your discharge papers for you. Okay. Alrighty. Well, you're going to be going home. Also, some people who have not established care with a, with a doctor somewhere have issues of not knowing where to go or how to use our system. But um, you have a very important appointment tomorrow. You have to see the primary care doctor that's already pre-scheduled for you. I highlighted it. It's tomorrow at 3.30. You're a new patient and you're going to see a medical doctor across the street. We have our partners in care program that people who enroll at Metro Health they get a, a nurse who can assist them, help them, direct them to where is the right place for them to go. Being part of uh, Metro, when you come back tomorrow, your doctor's going to be able to go into the computer and he's going to see all the stuff we did, all your labs, all the medicine we gave you, what your sugars have been, vital signs and all that. So he'll be able to follow. What and we've done is opened up access for people to get their own primary care doctor. The combination of those types of programs have relieved some of the pressure of people trying to get access to care.